If you're looking for an easy way to take up slack in your rigging assembly, but you're not sure what to use, I'll show you why turnbuckles are a great solution for your application and how you can choose the right one for the job. Turnbuckles are used to take up slack and apply tension to a rigging assembly. They are designed to be loaded in straight pull, inline applications, and come in a variety of types, sizes, and coatings to suit many suspending, tie-down, and tensioning type applications. Turnbuckles are categorized by the thread diameter, the take-up length, and the end fittings. Thread diameter refers to the diameter of the threaded portion of the end fittings, with larger thread diameters having a greater load carrying capacity than smaller thread diameters. Take-up refers to the total length that the end fittings can screw in and out of the turnbuckle body to take up tension. To increase the amount of total take up capability in your system, either choose a turnbuckle with more take up or attach two or more turnbuckles together in line to get the take up you'll need. Turnbuckles can tension assemblies without twisting them up because one end fitting is left hand threaded and the other is right hand threaded. This design feature ensures only the turnbuckle body twists when tensioning. It is important to note, the working load limit should always be taken into consideration when sizing and matching turnbuckles to other rigging components. For example, a quarter inch by four inch turnbuckle has a much lower working load limit than quarter inch cable or a quarter inch eye bolt and the fittings may not connect up easily. Upsize the turnbuckle to a size that more closely matches or exceeds the working load limit of the rest of the assembly, or a working load limit that meets your loading requirements. E-Rigging offers typical turnbuckles with a selection of three different types of end fittings, with each fitting having its own purpose, advantages, and disadvantages. Eye end fittings are used with other components that can be opened and connect into the eye such as a shackle or quick link. They contain no moving parts and are the most cost effective end fitting of the three. Jaw end fittings are composed of a jaw, bolt, and nut and are used to connect to other components that cannot be opened such as an eye bolt or swage sling eye. Depending on size, some jaw turnbuckles only come with a pin and cotter. You can find a list of the components included with each jaw on our website. Hook end fittings are used for temporary connections and are easily attached and detached from other rigging components. We don't recommend hook fittings in situations where tension can unexpectedly release from the turnbuckle, as this may cause the hook to dislodge. Double check your fittings when using hook turnbuckles, because the hooks are large and may not fit with other fittings having a similar working load limit. This toggle jaw is a specialty end fitting which is available on some of our stainless steel turnbuckles. It is especially useful when the turnbuckle must articulate in a direction that isn't allowed by the other component used in the application. E-Rigging also carries cable railing swage turnbuckles which are used in cable railing systems and come in a variety of types. Visit our website or check out our YouTube channel for more information on these types. Our galvanized turnbuckles are drop forged, while our stainless turnbuckles come in both drop forged or form and welded varieties. The formed and welded turnbuckles are nearly as strong as the drop forged turnbuckles and offer significant cost savings. For critical applications that require stainless turnbuckles, the drop forged turnbuckles will offer better long-term reliability due to the end fitting's elongated design that reduces stress and their superior manufacturing process. Our turnbuckles are made from hot dip galvanized steel and type 316 stainless steel. Starting with our most corrosion resistant, our stainless steel turnbuckles are ideal for being used in outdoor applications and are highly resistant to rust. Our stainless steel turnbuckles are also ideal for being used in or near saltwater environments where corrosion frequently occurs, 
and are the best choice when using other stainless steel components. Our hot dip galvanized turnbuckles come in at a lower cost than stainless steel and are also ideal for outdoor use. While galvanized turnbuckles are ideal for outdoor use, they're not as corrosion resistant as stainless steel, which should be taken into consideration when making the right choice for your application. The first step when installing a turnbuckle is to unscrew the end fittings so they are both fully extended. This can easily be done by unscrewing each end fitting one at a time until they are both equally extended. For this application, we'll be using a jaw and eye turnbuckle. To connect the turnbuckle into the eye bolt, unscrew the bolt from the jaw, insert the jaw over the eye bolt, and then insert the bolt back into the turnbuckle and fasten it tightly. For the eye fitting, insert the eye into the open shackle, and then close the shackle so that the eye is locked into place. To tighten the turnbuckle, you can either use your hand, a screwdriver, or a wrench to turn the body until your rigging assembly is tensioned to the desired point needed for your application. If your application will expose the turnbuckle to vibration, it is a good practice to lock the end fittings from turning by using lock wire. This will prevent unwanted loosening over time. Your turnbuckle may also be equipped with lock jam nuts to prevent loosening. These can be used in non-critical applications, but are not recommended for critical applications as they put too much strain on the threads. For pipe style turnbuckles, a small screwdriver or other small diameter type rod can be used to tighten the turnbuckle by inserting it into the hole in the body of the turnbuckle and turning it to the desired tension. To recap, the variables you'll want to consider for proper turnbuckle selection are working load limit, end fittings, take up, and coating type. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us on our website. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information on various rigging topics. I'm Tyler with eRigging. Thanks for watching.